Hi, I'm Alyssa. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the three main reasons why I did not want an epidural. So go ahead and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell if you're into this kind of stuff. Why did I not want an epidural? I have three reasons and the third was the most convincing to me, so make sure you stick around to hear that one. The first reason I did not want an epidural was because epidurals just scare me. I don't react well to medication anyways. Whenever I had my wisdom teeth extracted, I left the surgeon and shortly after we left, I ended up being ambulanced to the hospital because my blood pressure dropped really low. My mom thought that I was having a seizure. It was very scary and I knew that epidurals can cause your blood pressure to drop. So I just kind of wanted to stay, stay away from all of that. There's also a ton of other side effects that could happen. A lot of them are rare, but they're possibilities and I just wanted to not deal with those if I didn't have to. The second reason I did not want an epidural was because I wanted to remain as self-sufficient as possible. I didn't want to be bound to the bed throughout labor. Um, I wanted to be able to go to the bathroom. I didn't want to have to have a catheter. And then especially after the baby was born, I didn't want to be numb and confined to the bed. I wanted to be able to get up and go to the restroom myself and I wanted to be able to take care of her. And so that is that was a big reason as to why I didn't want an epidural. Number three, and the most convincing reason to me, was that I wanted the experience of giving birth to my daughter. Not that you don't get that with an epidural, but I really wanted to feel it all. To me, I saw that I saw it as a possible once in a lifetime experience. And I wanted to experience it all. I wanted to know what it felt like to have contractions. And I heard about the relief that you feel physically and even emotionally and spiritually whenever your baby is born and you just have the relief from all of that labor that you've been through. And I heard that it was just like a, almost like a high. It is incomparable. And so I wanted to know what they were talking about and I wanted to experience that. I also kind of saw it as my duty and honor to labor for my child and to experience what it felt like to bring her into the world. I just didn't want to miss out on any of it. So those are my three reasons why I did not want an epidural. Let me know if you agree with my reasons or if you just think I'm nuts. <laughs> Let me know in the comments. And also I'd love to know, did you have an epidural? Did you not? Um, I'd love to hear from you. So like, subscribe, all that jazz, and I'll see you soon. Bye.